Hello and welcome to today's installment of RuneScape Combat Academy. My character here is Savia. Uh, X7 or 17, depending on if you use Roman numerals as well as Arabic numbering. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as a number. That's the Arabic alphabet for numbers. We stole it or incorporated it, whatever you want to say. And Roman numerals is like the XVI. Or if you don't understand that, I'll say, do you remember in Rocky Three? It has three eyes. Do you remember in Back to the Future? Actually, I don't think it has it in those. Let's just say Roman numerals. Happy to be here, Def Kill. Yes, you could. Now, let's see. I haven't done this next one yet. Bar and basic abilities. Oh, we get a law degree, are we now? Always useful in the combat world. So what do we need to do? I thought it was the first two rules don't die and kill your opponent. Jesus! Why are you doing it, woman? I thought we were allies. Why are you just pulled out on me? Always attack first is what she's saying. Don't, don't, don't hold your punches. Always jump your opponents. If you see them stumbling around and you've got a bow, hide behind a fence and shoot them like a coward. It gets you to kill. <coughs> Yes, it is. What? Uh, okay. What? What is this? What is it? I don't understand. Drag the trout from your backpack to the first slot of the action bar. Oh, so it's like automatic stuff. So if I start losing health, then it will automatically eat a trout or something. Eat some fish using the action bar. Either click the icon or press the action button on your keyboard default one to eat the fish. Okay, I'm going to press the number one on my thing and see what happens. Nothing. I'll put num lock on. Still nothing. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, he ate it. Oh, oh, so it's like hot keying, isn't it? So I'm going to grab, collect a set of armor stands. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, let's just find out what his weakness is beforehand, okay? All that preparation and rubbish. Weakness is everything. Okay, I'm switching to bow. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the bow out then. I'm pretty sure I'm better with that. Jesus, my health is low. Hang, hang on. Does that mean all those four trouts are in one slot? Let's let's try. They are. Well, that's certainly an Im that's going to save me so much time clicking fucking clicking mouse keys when I'm fighting a dragon. Oh wait, no, not a dragon. They're, they're quite easy to kill. Die like a man or a woman. Then you get a better damn bow and better ammunition to to make your wealth. Right. Where the hell am I going to find this stuff? There is more information on the task panel. What are your abilities? Abilities are sort of combat actions, blah blah blah, trigger. 
more powerful and faster than your normal attacks and they take time to load probably basically like that critical bar we had before but actually with more options now no thought that was just a magic book oh they've changed it to some sort of ability book now so this is the magic section uh, for some reason health and defense have their own section what in the world is I thought defense would have gone in melee but apparently defense and health are their own separate thing what what you have your own rapid healing stuff going on anyway let's just I'm on range shoot your target with a shot dealing 125% damage of weapon down to 175% if you if they are stunned so you would use is that a stunning one so that would probably stun them that would be for area effect uh, blast so we use that then use that good God, they had they make the system so much more complicated by adding all this in. It's starting to. How long before this ends up as a console game? I I don't think it will be long now. This is just, just more. It's unnecessary, isn't it? Really, it is necessary for an evolution of combat. But God, I'm imagining the battles. They're going to be insane. Using it's going to be like it's not quite World of Warcraft yet, but I think ten years time this thing will surpass World of Warcraft. But then again, World of Warcraft should be better by then. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Do not use there, but if special attacks can be dragged and dropped in. So I only have to click on this nonsense. <coughs> right. The action bar is many uses in RuneScape capable of being used as a shortcut for more than just. So for people who don't know how to do hotkeying normally, such as myself, this is like the uh, hotkeying for dummy system. You can use for many things, attacking, eating, probably, you know what, smithing. It might even be used for smithing. Wait, no, no, that would be a pointless one. Let's work out later what's useful. Okay. Let's press two. Not, not none of the F twos like the normal two. Oh, haven't selected an enemy. Is that right? For we were selected. Tap the enemy with the uh, click the basic ability icon on your action bar. Press the key for the second button. Default two to perform it. What? Do I? So I do that. Then I do this. There we go. Level locks, are they? What the? That attack required. Oh, oh, okay, it's just daggers. I thought for a moment it was saying I needed a bow as well as a dagger, but apparently I just need level 81 in range to use that unload attack. What's that? Unload both your weapons at your target's current location for six seconds. So, for six seconds, you do double damage. Why is only a hundred percent, hundred and ten percent increase if you're throwing two daggers? Seems a bit pointless. Just stick to one, to save money. Uh, let's, uh, let's just continue. I think this is like the bar thing. When it reaches that, that means you can use one of your abilities in it. And the, the higher the ability, the more of the critical bar you use, blah. Basically, get it up to max, have stun going first, then use the bow. Because as it says there, it does 25% more damage if they are stunned. That does 120 anyway. I think this is a stunning attack. 
absolutely stunning attack. We've got work in here, we've got nothing useful. What? <sighs> Naming it funny names to confuse us. I, I don't care about the cooldowns. So, collect food, add abilities, general damage, add more abilities to your action bar to make sure you always have the ability that isn't on cooldown. Wait, so that would be cooldown, that one, I got you, because you see this is like 3 seconds, 5 seconds, so you, your critical bar has to be high enough, and it has to be cooled down. Right. Forget shit. No, don't that. Just need to get more trout. Uh, my melee's my highest. Unless she's using magic, I got this. I got this. Okay, let's see. I got this, lady. I got this. I, 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 you know, I'm gonna be a, a slashing attack, strength attack. Come on, strength for the win. Uh, crap about stunning. Stun is that a stunning attack? Kick your target, knocking them back and stunning them for three seconds. Oh, they're immune to it. They th take a lot of damage, don't they? Just put a kick in there. Put a. Members. Unleash your fury dealing damage equal to 150 over 6 seconds. Auto attack damage to your target over 6 seconds. Blah 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 blah. Hang on, is this one worse? This one blow it. Cleave through your foes dealing to all targets in front. No. That spinning thing went on there. Yeah, I'm going to take you on. Right. Just so you know, I'm going to now put that ability for the sweeping attack back in. And I personally, you know, so I can catch like three or so in front of me. And personally speaking, the best weapon to use against skeletons is either fire attacks because they're brittle bones, or crushing weapons like hammers and mauls because you're breaking bones. Swords is more if they're fleshy. Oh, the hell with you. Oh, hang on a minute. What the hell? I should have used range. Crap, crap. I'll go get. I'm gonna go get a bow. There we go. Let's finish him with the bow. He's out of the picture. Uh, melee. Take him down. He's. Oh, come on. All right, I'll kick his chin. Take it. Take it. Okay, for this one, we're going to do it differently. We're going to do kick. Oh, oh, unnecessary, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Melee, melee, melee. Not melee. Well, it's melee weak against magic. And it's... Magic's weak against range. Oh, hang on, hang on. Magic was weak against combat, maybe. <laughs> Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but the thing went down all the same. Let's go get our old friend the melee magic out then. What magic spells am I using today? What we got here? Rack. Impact. Let's use that. Let's use that. What does this do? Magical spell that chains between two nearby targets hitting additional nearby targets. Other crap about magic. Okay, so we didn't do that. I'm going to have auto attack in that regard on. Hit this guy. And I'm going to use this spell. I'm going to use this. I can't use this spell again. Oh, I started a freeway fight. That wasn't maybe my best idea. Come on, build up the tri-attack. 
And again. Multi damage. Multi damage. I don't know why my magic is so low. It's a load of crap. Why is my magic so low? Let's finish this. Down, down, down. Boom! Boom! Epicness. Epicness. Oh, we're going to be looking at congratulations in the latter, in the traditionary, as well as the Latin word for it, I suppose, is what I'm going to do next. Let's exit. Lovely.